What's up you guys, it's Message here and welcome to another episode on the Hardcore Iron Man. As you can see, we are currently training up our woodcutting and that is not because I want a woodcutting level, but I need 50 fire making and as I said in my previous episode, we are going to get 99 fire making by doing winter tot. so I will need to get 50 first and that is why I am getting all of these willow logs. So I will be back after I've gotten all of the logs that I need. Okay, so after about an hour of woodcutting, we have gained all of the willow logs that we will need, so... Here it is, let's make some fires to get 50 fire making. And here we go for our last 7 logs. We already got 50 fire making and a bit over that. So that means that Winter Todd is unlocked. But before we do that, I need to get the Clue Hunter outfit. Because that is warm clothing and uh, it should reduce the damage that I will be taking. So I'm going to get all of those pieces and then I will see you at Winter Todd. And that was the last piece that I can get because the other piece uh, is of course the helmet and... I don't suppose anyone is getting that anytime soon. So, what we are gonna do is go to Winter Todd. This update, by the way, is silver jewelry. Something that is not really, uh, yeah, interesting to me. It's, it, it's stuff that I probably won't even be using anytime soon. So, uh... Don't, don't really mind this. I'm just gonna go to a Winter Todd camp. And then we are gonna do it. Finally going to get our first 99. It's gonna take a while, but uh, yeah. I will just update you probably after I've gotten 10 chests or something. After each 10 chests. I'm not sure. We will see. Alright, so as you can see, we already did one of those uh, beautiful kills. But the problem is... I did not have my Ring of Life equipped last game. And uh, luckily we didn't disconnect or die, but... That, yeah, I don't know, it's very dangerous in my opinion. So what we are going to do now is complete this skill, hopefully at least, because I'm still figuring out how much food I should actually take. I think a lot more because uh, I've already ran out and if I do drop to like 20 hit points, I'm teleporting the fuck away from here. So yeah, uh, we're just going to do this for the entire episode though. So I think I'll just update you after like every 10 levels or every 5 levels. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, we will figure something out and then I will definitely uh, yeah, see you after I've got a few levels in. And crates. Those crates are very nice as well. Okay, okay, I am back in business. And as you can see, we're not at the winter tall. And why is that? Well, that is because I had 10 hours of lectures today. Yeah, that was fucking amazing. So, <laughs> that, no, okay, it, it was shit. Like, literally the worst glasses I've ever had probably. But doesn't matter what we did manage to do in that time, and I do need to find them, lobsters, is fish 600 lobsters. And I will definitely be using those probably at the uh, winter tall because I only had 263 left. So I'm going to cook these all up really quickly and then we are going to head back because I still only have five of the winter tots completed. And as we go into our last lobster, uh, we are going to go back to the Winter Todd 766 again. So that should be plenty for now. Going to grab my tinder box and a hammer and then we are going to grind out some more fire making. Very, very nice. Okay, so we got 61 fire making now and uh, I said I would update you every 10 levels, but I mean it's going so incredibly fast. I'm getting 170k experience per hour, but let's open all of the chests that I have in my bank because there are quite a lot. I'm just gonna open all of them straight away, hope for a pet or something else. No, but that is some really decent loot as you can see, like... <laughs> 48 U locks already, 16 maple locks, even some raw lobsters, and of course the herbs and seeds, which are amazing. I mean, already a U seed and two maples with some cash. I mean, these drops are literally the best that you can ever wish for if you're training fire making for free. It's it's like heaven on earth for Iron Man. Okay, I'm uh, yeah. I, I should probably stop now. I'm just gonna continue. Probably be back at 70 fire making. 
So I just got a new high score of 790 points. Almost reaching 70, so I'll open the crates at that level. But uh, doing the fletching while being in there of the logs gives you a lot more points. And that should give you some better rewards. But my fire making experience per hour is slowed down by it. So I think I won't be doing that the entire time. But uh, it is very, very decent in terms of points. So that is 70 fire making. Let's open all of the chests that we have gone. I think I got like... 30 in my inventory or something oh, well i could get 30 in my inventory but of course you had only 28 places okay yeah that that didn't make any sense so let's uh, take a look let's just bank everything and withdraw all of the crates okay so i got 25 and uh, i'm just gonna open all of them oh fuck that that sucks okay one second one second guys i'll just do like a little time lapse of me opening all of these chests <laughs> That are some pretty decent drops. Runner seats. I need those. Aventos. Okay. Still no piece though of the outfit. And I don't really have anything else to show for. Like no pad I believe. Still. No. No one running uh, after me. So I don't think I'm getting really lucky. But yeah. Let's just continue. I will be updating you after every five levels now. Since uh, yeah. It's going to take a long time to level 80 and 75. Not so much. So. I will be back at 75 to open the next crates. Alright guys, so here we go. That is 75 fire making. Just gonna complete this one. Uh, this is only 20% left, so should be done really easily. And then we're gonna open all of the crates that I've got. And there are quite a lot. You'll see in a second, but I think I've got like over... 35 crates or something from doing this until level 75 so that's from level 70 until 75 we are at 1.2 million experience right now i gained about 663k already and uh, yeah that's probably only going to be more in uh, in a couple of hours i mean i don't uh, have any time tonight so it's friday currently and i will probably be doing this the entire saturday so that will be 12 hours of wood cutting and fire making but um, yeah, I'll just show you the chests in a second. Okay, so we're at kill count 66. And uh, just as the previous time, we will do a time lapse of me opening all of these chests. And uh, there are a lot, so enjoy the rest. <laughs> we are that did not take that long okay so this is a good drop i just got duplicate warm gloves unfortunately but uh, i will of course be using those instead of the glue hunter gloves because those give experience bonuses um i will need a tome of fire in order to use this one but um yeah okay not not too shabby drops i think I under oh, overestimated the amount of items that I would have because I thought I had like 35, but I think I realistically only had 28. But yeah, I gotta go now. So um, this was the, the Friday at least. I will be doing Saturday for 12 hours and this has only been about three and a half. So you can imagine how much levels we will gain on Saturday. Nice. And as we just hit 80 fire making about uh, like 4 or 5 hours later, we're gonna open the next batch of uh, crates and there are quite a lot. So uh, after this I will be opening them after each kill because it's probably best but uh, let's go to the time lapse again. that were all of the chests opened or well the crates and uh, we now have two pieces the pyromancer garb and the warm gloves which is very nice to have of course because that will give me a little bit of experience bonus and uh, in terms of seeds i think we are pretty much doing uh, okay i would really love to get a tome of fire now because 40 burnt pages is pretty decent but um, yeah, let's continue doing this because I don't want to waste any time and get to the, yeah, you know, uh, 99 fire making as soon as possible. Wait, wait up, wait up, wait a minute. 
Um, w what? When the fuck did that happen? Uh, what? All right. So, uh, one in five thousand, I believe. And I, uh, what? Did can I actually pick this shit up? Is it is it mine? You know? Do I have? What? <laughs> Holy fuck! How did I even get this? I don't know! I was just... <laughs> what? I must have gotten it in a crate, I guess, because I did not see any message. Like, what the fuck did just happen? <laughs> okay, guys. We got the pet. I think it's one in 5,000, but here it is in my inventory, sitting there uh, quietly. I didn't even notice. Like, holy shit. But there is a pet. We we managed to get the fucking Phoenix pet. Um, currently at only 82 fire making though. So I haven't progressed that much since the last clip. But what the actual fuck. I did not expect to get this at all. But here it is. The Phoenix pet. So I'm quite happy. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's not really useful other than just a nice cosmetic, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this because I still want 99 fire making. Even though I, I got this fucking thing right now um, flying beside me. Well, at least I got someone who is uh, interested in me. Who's following me for once. Okay, we'll be back at 85 fire making. D did get the fucking pet, though. Like... What? Okay, we'll be back. Sorry, stop rambling. Okay, so uh, just got 85 fire making. Do have a beautiful phoenix pad that will follow us around. But the only problem is that... Um, w w yeah, our food is running out as you could see. I mean, it's not really that big of a problem. Because this pad is just amazing. But um, 85 fire making. I imagined I would get a lot more experience than this in the ending of the first episode. But apparently we didn't. Um, fortunately the experience per hour is about 100k faster now so I think that the next episode we will get a lot more experience not a lot more levels but uh, the experience at least will be higher for now though I will probably end this episode and uh, then I will see you on the next one uh, please enjoy the stream if you are into that and I uh, hope that you will like this video and subscribe to my channel and then I will see you next time bye bye